and the plane that we're going to be talking about took off from right here at JFK International Airport here in Queens, New York. By all accounts, the flight was uneventful. The passengers even reportedly were applauding the pilot for his finesse at making a strong landing in some rough weather in Guyana until things took a terrifying turn. Crash landing. Caribbean Airlines flight number 523 splits into pieces after overshooting the runway in Guyana. There were 157 passengers and six crew members on board. All survived, but just barely. The plane reportedly slid off a rain-soaked runway, sliced through a chain-link fence, and missed plunging down a 200-foot deep ravine. Tonight in the Richmond Hill section of Queens, home to many New Yorkers with strong ties to Trinidad and Guyana, almost everyone was talking about the crash. Safe to say what happened with this crash is the talk of the neighborhood tonight? Pretty much, yeah. I think a lot of people are concerned. Uh, I know one of my friends, uh, one of his neighbors was on the flight. There are reports of back, neck, and leg injuries, and at least three people hospitalized with serious injuries. The Boeing 737 left New York's JFK International Airport Friday night. It made a stop in Trinidad, and the airline confirms it was continuing to Guyana when it crash-landed at the International Airport there. The cause of the crash is under investigation. This woman works at popular restaurant Sunny's on Liberty Avenue. She says she often flies Caribbean Airlines. Well, I'm thinking if I was on the flight, what would have happened? Because I'm a a business lady from Guyana to Trinidad every three months. According to Caribbean Airlines, all passengers and crew were safely evacuated. The airport in Guyana was briefly closed after the incident. The plane has been secured and is now under guard by local authorities. The airline's vice president of operations, along with the chief pilot, VP of maintenance and engineering, among others, immediately departed for the crash scene. Okay, so here is the latest on the investigation. The United States is getting involved. The U.S. National Transportation Safety Board is going to lend a hand in the investigation at the request of local authorities. Reporting live tonight from JFK, I'm Peter Thorne, PIX11 News right now. Let's get over to Francesca Maxime.